D Hatchery, and today we're gonna talk about clothes. A clothing haul for y'all because I've never done one because I'm poor and I can't always do clothing hauls. But it was my birthday, so therefore I got a little money to do some clothing hauls. Well, one one clothing haul. I will be showing that to you, but I also want to discuss some of the issues with buying clothes when you have a DID. <laughs> um, you're going to be totally disappointed, y'all. <laughs> I mean, when I bought these clothes, it's sort of how I always buy clothes. I'm sort of a, first of all, it requires a troublemaking alter to buy clothes in the first place, because when you don't have money, you tend not to spend it on clothes. <laughs> So it takes a younger alter who doesn't have as much fear of consequences to go and buy clothes. Although this time it was okay because it's my birthday and I received some money so I could do this. But um, after looking at the clothes and seeing what we bought, I know exactly who bought them. <laughs> okay, so like I'm gonna explain something about buying clothes when you have DID. I do not have enough cooperation or lack of amnesia to know who's buying clothes when they're buying them. Most of the time when I'm buying clothes, which is rare because I'm not rich, <laughs> um, it's all it's very dissociated. It's like, ooh, I like that click. Ooh, I like that click. It's not like my brain is going, who's buying this and what's happening right now? No, I never, I never know who's buying clothes until I look at the clothes and see who would have bought those clothes. You know what I mean? And this time, like I said, it was definitely James. I'm pretty sure it was James because James is here. And hi, how are you? I'm James. <laughs> You're welcome. Everybody loves me. <laughs> I decided to be here for my clothing haul because, you know, I'm a stylish bitch. I mean, Brandy's body doesn't make the clothes look as good as I would hope. But like if you were in my head and you knew what I look like, which is, excuse me, willowy, gorgeous and skinny, the clothes would look lovely like all clothes look on skinny people like seriously a skinny person could buy a muumuu -moo and make that shit stylish <sighs> a fat person often can take a an awesome leather jacket and make it look frumpy i don't understand the world but anyway as a fat person i'm allowed to say these things <laughs> even though i don't identify as fat because i'm james and i'm not fat my body's fat but yeah, we're fat, generally, we're fat. Okay, so here we go. I mean, we're gonna show you some, <laughs> some clothes to just like give you an example of the array of styles that end up in our closet because different alters feel differently about what they wear. <laughs> and so I'll show you, like we go all the way from goth, like here's a goth sweater. Mind you, I have had this since my 20s because, because I have the idea I can't throw anything away. We're not allowed to throw shit away because you don't know who bought them and then your body doesn't let you throw them away because whoever bought them is holding on to them. You see, that's what's going on. I have a lot of clothes, many of which I cannot wear, but my parts will not let me go. Let me let go of them. So here's one of our gothic styles from a more gothic younger alter obviously i look ridiculous in it as a 46 year old woman doesn't mean i don't wear it but you know you just have to go with the flow here's another one from the gothic attire you know like see these little skulls actually this is a great sweater it's like 1950s looking style like sweater from a pool hall or something but that's from our more gothic side of the closet with different parts <laughs> so i'm just sort of showing you extremes like how it can go from gothic another gothic piece like i said another gothic these are leggings and they've got ravens or like blackbirds of some sort and skulls and compasses and stars and so that's pretty much like i keep forgetting where the thing is to look at but anyway more of our gothic attire <laughs> which I'm sure as a 46 year old overweight woman looks so good on me. I'm sure I look great in it. Of course I do. 
Okay, now here's from our more like preppy kind of, not conservative, nobody's really conservative, but we have parts that are really preppy. Like they just wanna be respected and treated like a grown up. So they've got things like this. You know, this is a very pretty floral print. This is from when we had lost a bunch of weight and we're dying to fit into it again. We cannot fit into this. But, um, you know, it has a little button at the top. Like, it's just a really pretty, delicate sort of dress, you know, it's a dress. And so that's from our more like, you know, preppy, wanna be accepted by society. Here's another skirt, which I love. It looks so cute on, but if I can, um, and this is also from my skinnier phase before the thyroid became stupid again. You know, so sort of like a 1950s housewife, sort of like floral. That's from our more, um, you know, preppy girls. And this is from our more our most recent haul, which was James for sure. And this is that skirt we were wearing. And this is actually a floral print, as you can see. It's like pink peach floral on neon yellow. And I'm currently wearing the shirt that I had with that, which is a flower the same color. But then, you know, it doesn't, it's not always just like gothic versus preppier people. Sometimes it's littles versus older people. And so here's an example of something our littles bought. <laughs> you see the bumblebees? <laughs> That's basically why they bought it. These bumblebees, it's like short. It's, you, you've seen it in, I've had it in videos before, but you know, it's sort of a, like a little kid's dress kind of. But um, yeah, so I don't have a lot of control over like how we look and how we dress. <laughs> Oh no, just looking at it all together makes me laugh because you know, there have got to be moments where we look freaking ridiculous to people. Like we've gotta look so stupid sometimes. <laughs> but it's okay because then I remember that looking normal is really boring. And who wants to do that all the time? And once in a while, it's beautiful to see a peacock in the wild. You know what I'm saying? It's beautiful to see some person, especially if they're overweight, especially if they're old, peacocking for the world. Love that. Seriously, older and heavier people, go around peacocking because it's a special moment. Okay. Anyway, what else? Oh, yes. Yeah. So let me actually show you our clothing haul. Our clothing haul. Okay. So we bought three outfits. I mean, we didn't do a pill, you know, it's called like a pill collection where you can like mix, mix and match things because a lot of our parts like dresses, but this is obviously James. So we have like a few dresses with um, lace and we wear them with our new moto boots, which you can't see very well in the videos, but they're awesome moto boots. Maybe I'll put a picture here. And because we've always liked that harsh like combat boot style with delicate dresses that's been a 90 that's like a 90s cliche but we love that style and we've always wanted to dress like that basically this is how we want to dress like no this is james this is how i want to dress <laughs> i want to dress like uh oh no what's her name fight club the girl from fight club helena bonham carter we want to dress like that but you have to be super skinny to dress that way so we cannot dress that way unless we want to embarrass ourselves but you know we get as close as we can so we've got our pretty dresses and our combat boots and that's what you're gonna see here you go you're welcome you're welcome you're welcome and i didn't talk while making the video because i became so self-conscious about how i looked <laughs> that i mean it would have been a disaster if i had tried to be like a host while showing you these outfits. I just kind of had to show the outfits and get them over with. And did you see that little unicorn in the corner? Like my partner got that for me for my birthday. One of the best gifts he's ever given us. Littles love it, older parts love it, it's fantastic. We love that unicorn, it's our favorite. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, so here's some more clothes. Well, I hope you liked our clothing haul. It's the first time we've ever done one. 
we always wanted to expand our content to be vlogs plus educational videos, whatever. Just do whatever other parts feel like doing. Obviously, I like the clothing haul because I'm James and I'm amazing and I'm like a fashion co win And if you don't believe me, just ask me. Simple as that. Simple as that. You don't have to ask anybody else because they wouldn't know, would they? Now that you've seen my phenomenal fashions, despite the unfortunate weight, <laughs> I hope you like them. We're working on things. We're trying to get better. We're doing our best. This is James signing off and we love you so much and we hope you have a great day.